Most often, we rush from one point to another, where our goal is to arrive rather than appreciating the journey. But today, I'm going to turn that around. I'm going to spend a whole day in one location, in the center of Stockholm Old Town, the Grand Square. I just arrived to the square and it's pretty much empty. It's pretty much empty, but the sun is coming up and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. In order to interact with people throughout the day, I will also challenge myself to overcome my fear of approaching others by taking a picture with a hundred people. We'll see how that goes. It's, it's seek discomfort. And the first one I met was Leona and David from the Czech Republic. What word would you like to know? So, German said rainbow to Svenska. She said that in Swedish. Um, <laughs> I would say it uh, as regnboge, which is my southern Swedish dialect. Oh. But then you, depending on where in Sweden you are, you would have, you would say it in different ways. Mm -hmm. But sort of the same. Okay. Regnboge. First tourist group has arrived. It is 7.30. You know when you when you travel and you go to new places and you get this feeling of you're just taking in uh, new impressions over and over and over. Being here, although it's early and only uh, two groups and a few, you know, a few other people have stopped by, you, you kind of get a sense of that buzz that buzz people are on because they're so they're taking pictures of everything and they're smiling and they're having they're just having an, an adventure and it's very in a positive way uh, contagious it's um it's interesting to to see and to kind of for a moment think that you're also uh, traveling that you're also experiencing something new uh, and not just a square that i've been to a thousand times <laughs> Then I met Lucy from France. <laughs> okay, I'll say, what is your favorite word? Okay, uh, my favorite word is eating, to eat something. <laughs> okay, so to eat in Swedish is at äta. Hola. Oh my god. At äta. Yeah. Yes? Nice! It is just after nine o'clock in the morning, four hours in, and the role of playing photographer for people has begun, which is a good thing because then you get to interact with people. So tell me, what, what, what is your favorite word? Favorite word? Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so beautiful <laughs> in Swedish is vakko. Huh? Vakko. 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 You are beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> vakko. Oh. I learned something new today. Thank you so much. I'm all about the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> I moved into the shade because the sun right now is really, really warm and I'm going to be out for, you know, a couple of hours more. But uh, I just had a really, really fun uh, last hour talking to a lot of people uh, and just hearing stories of, you know, where they come from, how their relation to Sweden and, and the fact that like a, a string of coincidences leads you to where you are in life. The whole, you know, sliding doors uh, thing. It's, it's really, really cool. and. Yeah, lots of more people on the square uh, at the moment, but it's nice to be in the shade. <laughs> so what word would you like me to translate for you? Uh, happy birthday. Ah. Grattis på födelsedagen. Congratulations Hi. on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so right now is the change of the guards over by the castle, uh, but you know who cannot see it? Me. And you know why I can't see it? Because I can't leave the square. Just had an amazing lunch, a vegetarian uh, pizza, and really good lemonade here behind me. Excellent. I had this uh, thought to myself, like uh, doubt, uh, earlier this morning that would I be able to approach people? Because that's always been sort of a, a thing from 
my childhood of not uh, as a kid I, I, w I wasn't able to do that because I'm also the kind of person who doesn't want to bother people but, but so far um, it's gone really well people who travel are uh, maybe more up for you know the adventure of taking a picture because this guy is doing this weird project and he seems like someone who is not going to stab me and chop me up that's that should be on my on my stone. <laughs> he never chopped anyone up. It's around two o'clock now. I have taken pictures with 30 people so far. Feels good. Feels good. Look, a real live follower. What? I thought she was Swedish because she's the. Just say a little Du ser inte svensk ut. <laughs> Vädret är fantastiskt, underbart. Solen skinner och... Ja, du, du skinner. Ja, jag har också skinner. <laughs> ja. Life in the shade. It's ja. nice. Just checking in. And Alexis is fantastisk. Okay, so here's the thing. This girl, she knows the first person I met, the Czech girl, yeah. Leona. Yeah, we started uh, together for uh, at uh, <laughs> on Plunder, Stark Plunder. Uh, we used to dirt. No, you can't tell. We used to dirt. <laughs> She's from Texas. <laughs> He's a cowboy. We used to dirt. That's a small world. Wow. Ulla <laughs> by describing Martin. Go! Yes, yeah, so his channel is called The Swedish Lad and he's uh, one of the first YouTubers in uh, Sweden, right? Wow. So the first like ah. video blogger since... When did you start? 10 years? More than 10 years. Technically like. in 1999. Nin oh yeah, before, oh, before YouTube. YouTube. <gasps> YouTube okay, one more time. Take two! Uh, so Martin, he was uh, having a YouTube channel before YouTube existed. He, 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 wow. <laughs> Uh, he's making videos about languages and Swedish and uh, different countries and uh, things like that, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's, it's like OG cultural... Digital. The subject is like cultural... Cultural, like break cultural boundaries, bound, mm. uh, boundaries and just meet people from other countries and... and Be fun. <laughs> Learn Swedish while having fun. Isn't that right, Jana? Oh, yeah, I'll say so. <laughs> 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 So I just met, what's your name? Zayn Marafi, I'm uh, from Kuwait. How's your Swedish? Swedish is very weak, you know, I'm trying <laughs> to learn. I'm following you since uh, a year. Okay. I'm trying, you know, my best to, to learn some uh, Swedish. Uh, this is so learning. cool. <laughs> you, the thing, I, I make little things on the, on the Instagram and then suddenly someone from Kuwait yeah. just like shows up. It's, it's... <laughs> Nice to meet I love you. It. Nice, nice to, to, meet to meet you, you too. It is six o'clock uh, in the late afternoon, early evening, and it's been an intense few hours of lots of talks and yeah, good times. I have 35 left. Let's go. What do you have to say? in general about life what is your reflection on life what would you say to a month younger version of yourself uh, travel more oh. learn a lot more languages oh. mm -hmm. so that's why i'm coming to sweden and uh, so i want to see the culture like get to know people uh, go places yeah yeah be open and just do stuff don't wait until like you're old or you, until you get money you will never get enough money <laughs> You know what? This is a person I want in, in my life, in, in the rest of my life now. Oh my <laughs> I'm not chittering. <laughs> so what will make you happy? Swing dance make you happy. Happy and smile so when you dance. Yeah, and, and so fun. Lots of joy. Yeah, a lot of joy, like, <laughs> like my name. Joy. <laughs> What's your answer? Yes, too. It's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Oh. Yeah, and you can meet like good people. Yeah. 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 You meet a lot of people from yeah. everywhere. Yeah. They're all open-minded. Yeah. It's great. A lot of good people from 
all over the world. Like hanging out on this square for 18 hours. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, because I, I, I went to, to her rank and met like from a guy from New York, from oh. China, from Japan. Oh. Yeah, if, everywhere in the world. How are your legs? Now it's so tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try swing dancing. Yeah. Let's all go to Heidelberg. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I just took a picture with an Italian couple and that brings me to 100. I have taken a picture with 100 people today. I'm so hungry now. <laughs> I'm gonna take my wife and we're gonna go and have a nice dinner. Ladies and gentlemen, the hour has struck 10. I've been here since five o'clock this morning and let's uh, let's sum up shall we I have spent a whole day at the square and not only did I meet new people I also got to connect to those that follow and appreciate what I do and who I am when you open yourself up to new experiences you never know what will happen but I know that I will learn more about other people and become a better version of myself like I always say do good shit and good shit will happen. <laughs> <laughs>